Now we will see the new unit that is a probability and we will cover the 5 mark questions in this probability unit uh, beginning from model paper 1 okay? and we will cover some of the public uh, papers also, all the public papers also. Listen carefully, the probability that A, B, C can solve a problem are 4 by 5, 2 by 3, 3 by 7. That means probability are always, I told that it is a n of A by n of S, number of sample points to the number of favorable events. If you take the ratio, then probability will come. So, A can solve it, the problem with 4 by 5. That means what? Out of 5 chances, 4 chances are favorable. And B, out of 3 chances, 2 chances are favorable. And C, 3 chances are favorable. That means what? They given the individual probabilities. Probability of A, 4 by 5. Probability of B, 2 by 3. Probability of C, 3 by 4. Now, next, uh, respectively, the probability of the problem being solved by A and B. A and B is intersection part. Together, if they work together, then it is uh, different. That is 8 by 15. Again, if B and C work together, this can be solved by prob with the probability of 2 by 7 and A and C 12 by 35. Then what they asked, what is the probability that the problem can be solved? At least one of them. So, at least one of them means always, remember it is a union. Even set language also are going to get at least one. At least means A union, B union, C. So, for that, to find P of A union, B union, C on formula is there. Before that, you should write all the data, what are all the proper probabilities given. Now, given P of A, that means the probability that A can solve a problem is equal to 4 by 5. Next, P of B, the probability that B can solve a problem is 2 by 3. Next, P of C, the probability that C alone can solve a problem, 3 by 7. And also, if they work together, their probability is also given. That is intersection. Listen here. P of A intersection B. So, A and B. What is the value they are given? 8 by 15. Next, P of again B, C. First, A, B. Again, B, C. P of B intersection C. The Y intersection together. That is the intersection. So, what is the answer? 2 by 7. Now, what is P of A intersection C or C intersection A? Both are same only. Okay. C intersection A, B, B, C, C, A. C intersection A. What is the value they given? 12 by 35. 12 by 35. Now, what they asked? What is the probability that the problem can be solved? The probability that the probability that that problem can be solved. Problem can be solved is given by the formula P of A union B union C. Probability that at least probability at least one of them can be solved. Probability that at least at least one of them at least one of them, one at least one of them, one of them can be solved, can be solved. One of them means individually they can solve or together also they can solve. For that only one formula you should remember, P of A union, B union, C. That is P of A, even set language also it is there, P of B plus P of C minus P of A intersection B, minus P of B intersection C, minus P of C intersection A, plus P of A union B union C. So, all the three also given. So, all the three means this value P of A and B and C. So, P of A union B union C is given as 8 by 35. So, all the values they given, see here, this value given, this value given, this value given and the other three values also given, last value also given. 
only thing is you have to substitute and simplify now substitute those values 4 by 5 plus p of b 2 by 3 plus 3 by 7 minus 8 by 15 minus 2 by 7 minus 12 by 35 plus 8 by 35. Now listen carefully because here only the simplification problem. Okay. See here for 5 and 3 LCM is 15. So 5 goes in 15 3 times. 3 into 4 12 plus 3 goes in 15 5 times. 5 into 2 10. Again if we take the like terms for these two plus here these two 3 by 7 minus 2 by 7 1 by 7 minus 8 by 15. So, these two I simplified this one I wrote it alone again these two I can simplify because 35 35. So, 8 by 35 minus 12 by 35 minus 4 by 35 because it is easy to simplify. So, now this is what here 12 plus 10 22 22 by 15. Here also 8 by 15 is there, write on together, plus 1 by 7 minus 4 by 35. So, now 22 by 15 minus 8 by 15, 15 is LCM, 22 minus 8, see here, 22, 8, 14. So, this if you simplify these two terms, that is 14 by 15. So, it becomes what, 14 by 15 these two plus 1 by 7 minus 4 by 35. So, now you have to take LCM again for these and you have to simplify. So, listen carefully here 15 7 35. Now, 7 as it is you put because different it is not multiple of 5. So, now you will see here 15 with 5 only it goes 5 3 is 5 7 is. Okay. Now, that is it only one number it is there 15 okay, into 7 105 sorry 105. So, again 7 is there again same thing 105 only you are going to get again with 7 suppose 7 is there one time it will go. So, what is your LCM is 105 105 is your LCM. Now, you have to see how many times 15 goes with 105 just now we wrote 7 times. So, 14 into 7, 7 goes in 105 how many times? 15 times, that is also here it is there. So, plus 15 into 1, 15, 35 goes in 105 how many times? 3 times, 3 fours are 12, so minus 12. So, it becomes 14 into 7, 14 into 7, 28, 98, 98 plus 15, so it is 13, 113, 113 minus 12. 101. So, this is 113 minus 12 by 105. So, totally 101, 101 by 105 is the required probability. See, very simple only. Only thing is the simplification part is more. Uh, data is very easy. P of A given, P of B given, P of C given, and this quantity is given, this value is given, this value, everything given. Only thing is you have to simplify those values in the same order. While simplification you should be very careful because these like terms first to simplify it will be easy for you. All the terms you can simplify at a time that is up to you. But like terms if you simplify is easy, easy. These two you simplify, next these two you simplify, next again for these two and these two you take LCM, 15 again LCM, 22 minus 18, 14. So again if you take LCM for this one it is 105. Then 14 to 7, what is 14 to 7? I, I told here 98 plus again 15. So, what is 15, 98, 113? 113 minus 12, what is the value? 101. So, that is your 